Okay, so let's see if you're right. I'll be quiet now and I'll hit both these tuning forks. Okay, so what you saw happen was the amplitude of the signal here went up and down, up and down, and the frequency of that change in amplitude was 1 hertz, and that comes about because the difference between 704 hertz and 703 hertz is 1 hertz. You can investigate this at home if you use um, a telephone and a computer there's lots of free signal generators so you can generate signals which are a few frequent a few hertz difference and listen for the beats that get sent up in that signal so I've replicated this in some free software called audacity which you can download and play around with if you want the top track here is at 703 hertz the lower track is at 704 hertz and then this track down the bottom shows the combination of these two tracks when we add them together. So let's have a listen to that now. As you hear, you have the beat frequency and there's one beat each second because of the one hertz difference between these two tracks. We can zoom in to look at these tracks a bit more closely, but then it's harder to see that beat frequency. And this one's a bit easier to see on the screen. At the top we've got a 704 Hz tone, and then down below we've got 714 Hz. So the difference between those is 10 Hz, so we'd expect 10 beats each second. So we can listen to that now. So a question for you to try. Two identical piano strings of length 0 0.750 meters are each tuned to exactly 440 hertz. The tension in one of the strings is then increased by 1%. If they are now struck, what is the beat frequency between the fundamentals of the two strings? 